guys, and I'm going to show you how to make some custom ear mold suite in ear monitors. I've got some Shaw 425s, and they're great, but um, when I get a bit sweaty, they um, they they kind of ease out, and then I lose the seal, and then I lose the volume. So um, I'm going to show you how to fairly inexpensively make your own custom molds. Okay, so here's what you're going to need to start off with. You want to get yourself some custom earplugs, and you can get them from Amazon for about 15 quid. Then you want to get your headphones. Uh, definitely don't use headphones that have got a microphone. You just want uh, standard stereo headphones, and you can pretty much use anything. You just want to make sure you've got you know, a reasonably small uh, hole in there for uh, your sound to come through. And then, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what that's for later. That's not for brushing my hair. Um, and then finally, I've got this little Dremel. You can see here. Uh, we just need a small bit, and then you're going to use that to bore a hole into the mould uh, at the end. Um, if you're local, you don't have one of those, you can borrow mine. Cool. So when you open up your earplugs, you get the two different silicones. You, you basically take them out, uh, you rub them together in your hand, roll them into a ball until it's kind of one uniform colour. And then the trick to all this is keeping your mouth open for the whole time that you, you're doing the process because your ear canal is larger when your mouth's open than it is when it's closed so to get a good seal with the uh, the mold you want to be able to keep it open so i use a brush handle ah and uh, start with that in your mouth make it into a small conical shape pop it in your ear and then you take your driver and you squeeze it into the um the silicone until it's in in the kind of place it would normally be um, and then you hold it there for 10 minutes. So it's good to do this when there's no one else around because I found that generally people will disparage you with unkind words while you're doing this because you look stupid and you drool a lot. <laughs> okay, so I've done mine and uh, it's been 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna get a hold of this, give it a little twist, and there we go. Custom mold. Take the other side out again. Get a hold of a little twist. Brilliant. All right. Now the cool thing about this is that your dryer isn't stuck in. It will come out just as it comes out of your ears. Give that a little twist, and you'll see inside. Um, I'm going to Dremel through to make that point uh, to create a channel for the uh, earpiece. There we go. And there is your canal for the uh, sound to come through. Okay. So that's set now. It takes about 40 minutes to set once you've actually taken out your ear, but um, uh, it's like a kind of rubbery state now. It's done. I've done a bit of cleaning up just here with the Dremel. That's where the lead, the driver goes in. So you literally pop in your driver like that, and there it is. Um, and get this in. That's it, you've got a good seal, good sound, and it stays where it should. I uh, hope that's useful for you. Have a good day.